on the 25th of September. Brian Maloney, an executive of AstraZeneca, a, a customer of Puppet Killing Huntington Life Sciences, got another protest at his upscale home in D.C. Again, someone came out of the building to claim he doesn't live there. Again, they presented no evidence, even after a person fitting Brian Maloney's description was seen at an earlier protest screaming and yelling. And this time, someone even assaulted a photographer. In the morning, at a morning demonstration, um, a neighbor who looked like uh, very, who resembled, fit the description of Brian Maloney, was coming out and yelling, very, being very passionate, and and he fits all the description in terms of hair color and weight, that kind of stuff. Everything, yeah. So we're just waiting to confirm that it was actually him. And we also have his name on the call box, right? Yes. So all the evidence. This, a person fitting the description who is very angry, name on the call box, calling the call box, connects to Brian Maloney's telephone, says either he lives there or there's a very strong business relationship between Brian Maloney and the Latrobe. And why would he have been there on the day a hurricane Saturday was coming and, exactly. unless he lived there? Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, he was definitely... He was there, and he came out with another with a person that has been out at all, yeah. every single one of the protests. So too. there's something fishy going on at the Latrobe. It was uh, XGT 2579. 
Say again? XGT2579. Virginia. 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 That and will he be... had what looked to be the uh, Davis Construction logo with a number two in his window. So that's going to be actually somebody from the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Quite possibly. In all probability, because that's who we've gotten from Virginia before. Quite possibly. Um, I don't know what he was, but the symbol looked familiar like the Davis Construction logo. Okay. So, have to look.